We've all had stories like that. Yeah. Okay, this is Share Beer 329. And we, we've got uh, – this is kind of an old school show if this sticks around because this is just me and Mark here. And, oh, man. Uh, we, we, we've actually had some of our best shows with just me and Mark. Yeah, but, that's uh, true. That's true. I mean, I, I, I'm, not, I'm like, uh, what would we be like? Would we be like uh, – I'm kind of the straight man. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you guys the bus off the road, and I'm, I'm like, wait, the map doesn't do that. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we yeah. could probably do Vegas. We could probably play the strip, Joe. I'm, yeah. I'm thinking we could do it. Hey, you, you know, I mean, uh, you, you know, I, where are they at? Where, I mean, the offers should be lining up by now. Oh, yeah, I would think so. You know, I'll, do that. I'll live in Vegas and... Do a do a show six nights a week. I'm not yeah. far from Vegas, actually. You yeah, know, I, I could I could probably actually still live here and do Vegas on the weekends. Maybe we could have oh. like a weekend show. Oh yeah, I think we should do uh, it. That, There's it, so it, many I, casinos there. They're probably looking for acts all the time. I mean, we, we you know we could. Yeah, yeah. Desperate. <laughs> <laughs> how funny would that be to have a show like this live in vegas like you're, you're actually you have a live audience doing something like this uh, you know what i'm saying right. that would be that would be fun it'd be great for one night and they'd cancel it <laughs> yeah then they're like yeah you know what yeah that's Bad it idea. okay <laughs> either that or some producer watching it going damn that's a good idea and the next thing you know you see it on cw or something you know what i'm saying yeah that's <laughs> Oh, missed it by that much, but uh, oh, yeah. for, for you might remember, I and I and I still haven't done it, but I I do seriously intend on doing that now. It's gonna have to wait until probably August, but uh, to get my passport because I missed that opportunity with the Discovery Channel. God, it's been years ago, but oh, yeah, that was a couple years ago, wasn't it? Uh, it was. It was. Uh, but I did miss that opportunity because I didn't have my passport. Yeah, 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 that's one of those things. Uh, uh, last fall, Pam, um, Pam's work said, we need you to go to Germany. They've got a plant in Germany. And she's like, well, I don't have a passport. And then within like 36 hours, she had a passport. Really? Because she went down, because here in Atlanta, they, they've got one of the stations. So she went down with a birth certificate and all that stuff and paid like the, well, the company oh. paid like the $200 fee. And then she got the passport like overnighted to her. Oh, like, oh I gotta get mine. So I got mine this spring, and I did just the normal thing. And it took me only took me like a week. It was fast. Oh, okay. But that's because there's a passport um, thing in Atlanta. There probably is in Phoenix though too. I would think it would be pretty quick. Like you, well, yeah. It, it, well, it, it, you know, when you think about it, there's a lot of stuff in Atlanta. Oh yeah. You know, yeah, as I far mean, as I, government stuff, like... Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I filled out the paperwork, went to the post office, you know, and where you go and, you know, do all that. And then, sure. and like, a week later, I got it in the mail. I'm like, wow, that's fast. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even right. have to pay for, you know, pay extra for the expedited handling. So. Either, either that or... Well, well, I remember it was taking a long time because uh, they had just changed the restrictions on it. And so they were getting backed up because of that investigating yeah. and all that stuff. So they, it, it could just be a sign that they're caught up now. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah, yeah, it's just, pretty, just... pretty quick. But yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, I thought, yeah, I should have a passport. You never know when you might need to leave the country. Well, you know? the, I mean, and the, the thing of it is, it, in their ten years, they're good for ten yeah, years. Good for ten years. It's the ultimate ID. Like, if anything ever comes up with something, you know, you're like. Wham, bitch! There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm That's yeah. me. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's like whipping your nuts out on the table. Arr, you know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All there. <laughs> there I am. <laughs> that was kind of extreme, huh? See, that's the part we're talking about. See, that's. Yeah, I, mean, the... I think I think that would be an audience <laughs> favorite. Joe would say, "Whip your nuts out on the table," and I'd be like, "Yeah, that's great, Joe." <laughs> And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Standing ovation. So what what are you having today, brother? I'm drinking a uh, beer from Red Brick Brewing, which is in Atlanta. It's a Belgian style wit beer, and they call it Hibisca Wit. Oh. It's a five percent ABV. I got to put my glasses on, but it is brewed with. So it's a low ABV beer. Uh, but it's a Belgian-style wheat ale brewed with hibiscus, orange peel, which is kind of the standard thing you see in Belgian beers, 
and cinnamon. Oh, a little cinnamon, yeah. That's... So it's got, it's got orange peel, which is kind of... A lot of Belgian wheat beers have cinnamon, um, orange peel, but then it's got cinnamon and hibiscus. And it's a really tasty beer. And it's low ABV, 5%. I mean, so it's a nice mm -hmm. um, summer beer. It's got a nice color. Oh, I was just going to comment on the color. It's beautiful. And you can taste the... Um, you can definitely taste the orange and the cinnamon. I don't know what hibiscus tastes like, but it's got a floral kind of flavor to it. <sighs> hibiscus. I'm gonna have to look that up. Is it kind of like a? Uh, is it H Y like rose? But maybe is not. it H Y hibiscus or something? Uh, H I G I S C U S. Yeah, hibiscus. Yeah, H I B I S C U S. Hibiscus. <clears throat> and it's a really, it's a good flavor. It's kind of a twist on the Belgian wheat ale. And the cinnamon definitely comes through. So it's got that little bit of, it's not really tangy, but you know how cinnamon sometimes can have a little bit of spice to it, especially if it's really fresh, strong cinnamon. It's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a bite to it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It says uh, hibiscus, a, a ruby red color okay. uh, is alluring. And then it says uh, its flavor is lemony tart and okay. berry rich. Okay, that, I'm, I'm getting more of the berry, the orange, and the, and the cinnamon. But oh. I get more cinnamon and orange. But it's a really, it's a tasty beer. And it's a local brewery here in Atlanta. And they do a good job. And it's in cans, which is even a, it's a plus. And it was $7.99 for the six-pack. So I'd give it I'd give it a four out of five on untapped. I, I wonder how beer. much, I wonder how much the fact that <clears throat> uh, a lot more, uh, uh, you know, smaller craft breweries are able to can beers now. I wonder what. I wonder if we're saving any money as consumers. I don't know, because it obviously it definitely costs less to ship. <laughs> yeah, it costs you know, less I to mean, ship. You can uh, get fifty cans for the weight of one bottle, probably. <laughs> it seems <laughs> like. Yeah, it's. Uh, you know, I, I just kind of wonder because it doesn't seem. I guess we might be saving money, huh? Because oh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't even logged this beer. I better log this beer. Wow. There'll be 497 beers on Untapped. I'm going to get to 500 here pretty soon. Are you really? Wow. I don't know if that's something to be proud of or not. But yeah, right. Um, and that's that's my problem with Untapped as well. It's it's yeah. you know you're like okay, uh, am I supposed to be proud of this or? Yeah, now it's, I did. It's taken me four years. 500. Although it, in reality, it's probably closer to 750. Cause yeah. I just like I didn't do untapped for about a year and a half. Yeah, I mean, I, I I wasn't religious about it, and I'm still kind of not as good about it as I should be. Yeah. Uh, I'll have days where uh, I heck I oh I have a, I think I have some friend people trying to friend me on here. Uh, I've got yeah. a lot of friend requests on untapped. Oh yeah, no, I'm st I'm not even triple digits yet on on uh, uh, distinct beers. Relatively, only twenty two hundred check ins on Untapped. So it's, I think it came out last month. It's their, I think it's like a summer seasonal form. So, uh, but it's a it's a good beer. I mean, if you guys get anybody watching, if you get Red Brick, which I think they distribute Georgia, they might do Alabama and maybe Tennessee. Maybe South Carolina. You know, if you like wheat beers, I mean, it's a nice, easy drinking wheat beer with a little bit of uh, <clears throat> that cinnamon kind of flavor, which is really tasty. Hey, what is going on in North Carolina? Dear God, I mean, uh, did, what, you've had uh, all those shark attacks, and oh. then and then they had uh, what? They had something happen this weekend, didn't they? Uh, um. What, what happened over there this weekend? It was something. I don't know. I forget. I don't really was it watch a shark them. attack or was it something else? I no, it was it was something else. Something uh, something happened there. Was there a, a shooting? Was like, oh, okay. I don't know. I I didn't hear anything about that. I was, yeah, I yeah. Was, it, something happened over there. I don't know. Yeah, the shark attacks. You know. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, you go out in the water, you're gonna get bit. I mean, that's what swimming pools are for. <laughs> you, you know, I pretty much won't get bit by a shark. 
I, <laughs> Pretty yeah, much going to the ocean. <laughs> just not going in the water. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm yeah. I'm I'm good. You know I don't yeah. I don't I don't have to get in the water. So I'm not. Yeah, I mean I'm I'm a you know I I'm not a huge beach kind of guy anyway. And but I do like you know if it's hot or whatever and I'm near the ocean, I guess I'll go in the water. But it's not something I'm like I got to take a vacation at the beach. Yeah. I'm like no. And, and, you know, there's people that every year they go to the beach for a week and they just sit on the beach and do whatever. I'm like, you know, that's that's great, but for some people, not for me. Now, you know, another thing, when I uh, I, ha I didn't have any distinct beers this weekend, I had a uh, bunch of stuff that I've, I've had in the past, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, uh, uh, Sunday especially, pretty much all I had was Miller Lite. I went. I went to the to the local bar and just hung out and okay. had. Uh, did you watch NASCAR? I, I did not watch NASCAR. Oh. I'm having a hard time catching it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is because it, I I, I uh, well I, you know this weekend I caught up on Game of Thrones so that oh, okay. that, that could be part of it because. <clears throat> I caught up on Game of Thrones. By the time I was done with that, if there was a race, I just missed it. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I yeah. didn't quite, but at least I caught up on Game of Thrones, man. Yeah. You know, you See, gotta... I haven't watched a single Game of Thrones. I, well, I don't get HBO. Or I don't have the, the, the special streaming services that you have, Joe. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, because I tell people I don't get HBO either, but I'm not, I'm not connected to the uh, dark net like Joe is there. Um... <laughs> now another one that I started uh, downloading too is uh, what do they call it? Ballers? Have you been hearing about that? I've been hearing no. about that series I'm Ballers. Seeing, uh... It's got a uh, what's his name? Uh, the Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Is that his name? Oh, okay. Yeah, yep. Um, he's actually a decent actor. I mean, he does a he does a pretty good job. I always picture him like in stupid movies because uh, uh, I don't know. I guess that's all I've you know seen previews of is him in like kind of kiddish type movies. Yeah, he did Escape from Witch Mountain last year. The re the remake of that, the <laughs> Disney film. Yeah. yeah, you see what I mean. Like it, it just kind of kitty movies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never, I don't take him seriously as an actor. So when I seen he was in that, I was like, really, that dude? You know what I'm saying? But um, uh, I haven't seen it yet. Of course, I like to get all the episodes first, so I, I okay. won't see it till it's over. All but right. um, yeah. I did watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to binge watch. That's the only way to do it, baby. And I think that one's only a half hour too. So, oh, wow. uh, through like the day. You oh, sit there all day. Watch. Yeah, if it's twelve episodes, man, you could get through that in a few hours. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but just get through the, the commercials and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's no commercials because it's HBO. Mm -hmm. But and that's the one good thing about those shows because they'll be about twenty eight minutes, twenty seven minutes, twenty eight minutes an episode. Mm -hmm. So you'll get like your almost your full half hours worth versus uh, something else, and if it's on a regular network, you, you'll get about twenty two minutes. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, with the commercials. Yeah, because then all the commercials are out, and so you're like, man, I watched ten minutes of freaking commercials versus you know what I'm saying? Like it gives you a, when you start doing this stuff, you're like, man, that's a lot of commercials. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. You're you're probably not a bike racing fan, like Tour de France type stuff. I, I do watch Tour de France though when I when when and, I, and it's on. So this is the beginning of week two. Today was the first day they go into the mountains, which is always the best part because oh. they it's fun watching them get. Who who's showing it, Mark? Uh, it's on um, NBC. Um, is it CS? Oh, like one of their channels. Okay. Yeah, um, it's on there, and it's probably on. The primetime stuff starts at eight. They they show it live in the morning, so it'd be like six in the morning your time. Yes. And, and actually, that's good for me because uh, uh, that's when I get off work. Yeah, but yeah, so they're into week two. But the the only problem with the primetime coverage is there's so many commercials. It's uh, like, oh, we're back to the Tour de France, and they do like a minute. Oh, 
time for a break, and then they go to the break, and then <laughs> yeah. like, wait a minute, and you do like two commercials, and you do a minute and a half of coverage, yeah. and then you do two commercials. But usually, if it's like a big a big stage where they've got a mountaintop finish or something, they'll do like the last half hour or something commercial free, so mm-hmm. you can see the the finish of the race. But you're like, oh, thank you, appreciate yeah. it, you know. It's like I suffered for the first two hours watching exactly. all this. You know, one minute of coverage, two min- two minutes of commercials. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious with this? Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll have to keep it. I, you know, I, I, I get a limited amount of channels here at the hotel. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's it's probably yeah, it's NBC, uh, CS or whatever their their um, their sports channel is. I'll I'll check it out. No, well, now that you mention it, I'll check it out because I do like to see um, that. If anything, I'm not into all the other bike races, but uh, but um, it's a great. I mean, even if you're not like like you said, even if you're not into bike racing, it's just mm-hmm. cool because they go around the whole country. So and it's very scenic. I mean, a lot of the, the scenery is just fantastic. And then then you know, there's always crashes and stuff too. So you know, you you get to see guys like you know, it's the equivalent of what somebody said. What's it like to fall on a to crash on a on a bike? You know, in a race. And it's like, yeah. well, get in your car. You know, Bob Roll. He does the um uh, kind of the color commentary, and he was a uh, a bike racer back in the day, but someone asked him, "Was like, what's it like to fall and crash on your bike?" He says, "Okay, get in the car, have your friend go about 30 miles an hour, and open up the door and jump out wearing only your underwear. That's what it's like to crash on a bike." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly it. I mean, you see those guys sprinting and they'll touch wheels and they'll just go down and they're like, "Oh my god." Just road rash and yeah, yeah. And most of those guys are so so skinny that you know any little shock at all, and they like shatter their wrist or break their collarbone or something like that. Now, now that is one thing I used to I used to see. Uh, well, cycling is big in Albuquerque, that's for sure, because mm-hmm. all the yeah. mountains. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's at a high elevation, so you do see some pretty serious pros. Oh yeah, they, coming yeah, there to train. Yeah. You know that you will you, you will see that because of the altitude, and and I've I don't know if they're pros or not here, mm-hmm. but I do see a lot of cyclists when I'm out yeah. walking on the trail and stuff. This this trail rocks, dude. It just it's so cool, and it goes for miles and miles and miles, and um so I do see a lot of cyclists on there. I don't know, like I say, if they're pros. Some of them are so organized, they'll they'll be in little uh uh two to four man groups mm-hmm. and they're like organized bro they have like little moves they're doing you know you yeah. can see them like doing their moves and you know i'm like damn you know what i'm saying yeah. So, yeah. oh yeah. yeah and i don't yeah. worry about those guys because they see you coming and they have like all these they don't even say anything they have like these yeah gestures. they got hand they, signals yeah and, uh, and uh it's pretty cool to to watch that, you know what I'm saying? I don't worry about those guys. It's the guys that get out there on the weekend with the bicycle, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, that are just like do 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 going all over the place. <laughs> yeah. I worry about those guys, man. Uh, you know because they're flying. I mean, yeah. you know, some of these guys are going I would imagine 40 miles an hour maybe. Mm. Is that sound reasonable? Oh yeah, 20, probably 20. I mean, it's 20? really hard. People think it's it's really easy to go like ten to twelve or fourteen miles an hour on a bike, uh-huh. but once you start getting like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, it gets really just because of the wind resistance. Uh-huh. It's it really hard. So that's why the groups are great because you know you can uh, share the effort as far as breaking the wind. So as a yeah. group, you can go really fast. Like those guys in the Tour de France, when they're moving, they'll go like thirty, thirty-five miles. An okay, hour. okay. But you've got fifty guys that are. You know, uh, but yeah, just to get out on a bike and like go, I'm going to go 20 miles an hour. You can do it for a little while, but it's tough. It's really hard. Okay. I, I just, <clears throat> yeah, I was just guessing because, you know, just from, <clears throat> you know, me walking and then them going by me. Uh, yeah. yeah. They're probably going 15 to 20. I mean, yeah. if, they're, if they're moving along, that's probably about the average. <clears throat> Okay, but they you still, man, I, I worry about them wrecking into me because, dear God, I mean, they're flying. You know, mm-hmm. uh, and if you get some 
some psych, some somebody on a bike that's going fast and not paying attention to what's going on, especially yeah. on like a trail like that where you've got people walking and yeah. and you can yeah it can cause a lot of damage. And, and it's it's like that part of the trail. Mm -hmm. It's it's straight for a long time because it follows a river. You know what I'm okay. saying? So, yeah. um, it's mostly bicycle. You don't want to get on there walking or running too much. Not unless you're real serious. Like, it, I you know, my, I'm, I'll be out there, and there might be a few other power walkers or mm -hmm. runners, and that's yeah. it, really. So that, but you probably stick to one side of the trail at a time. Yeah. I mean, you're not like zigzagging across. No. Uh -uh. You know, and that's. Uh, that's as if you're a cyclist riding on a trail like that. That's like the most the worst thing. As you see, like you know, mom out there walking with her with the kid in a stroller, and she's like oh, talking on her on her phone, pushing the kid. And yeah, I, I don't think they the I don't think they worry about us <clears throat> as much as they uh, as much as they do. You know, because we kind of know the deal. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. we stay like in you know on the one side. Yeah. But I think they worry about, like you said mom out there with her three kids on the weekend with their bicycles you know what i'm saying and yeah. And, yeah. and that's what really gets scary because uh, yeah because i mean the kids are kids they don't yeah. they they just go wherever they go you know yeah. right yeah so that yeah. gets uh they, they don't pay attention to like stay on the right <laughs> let the faster ones go on the left they're like no i'm going all they, I'm going they don't the know i want to go they don't know all the hand signals yeah really come on no I mean, get with it. I mean, you, you, you know, you just took the training wheels off, man. Get with yeah. it. You know? Come on. Jeez. Jeez. What the hell man up. Man up. Man up. What, what's wrong with these kids these days? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Back Back in my day. Too grumpy old man comparing about... <laughs> Complaining about kids. You know, you know what? Actually, Mark, back in our day, you had to get a bicycle license. Do you? Do you, do you ever yeah. get a bicycle license? I had. To, I did have to have a bicycle license, and did I you? had it on the back. It was hanging from the the little bags strap on, on the back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and really. The, the little local, the town that we lived in. Yeah. Yeah. The, you, you used to have such a thing. You had a mm -hmm. bicycle license, man. Yeah. And it was uh, just a way to stop peace from the little kids. I mean, yeah. You know. Yeah. Moves the coffers so the police chief can go out to the strip club on Saturday night. You know, like, <laughs> Fifty-eight-year-old kids paid for this, man. All right. <laughs> well, that's the dollar, little Johnny. Here's the dollar. <laughs> we're we're definitely showing age, huh? When you when you you know, because they're like bicycle license. Are you freaking? Let me Google that. You know. Um, <laughs> but and, and let me get let me get back on the rails here a little bit. Yeah, we should get back there. Like, um, about here. But one of the one of the uh, articles I had posted earlier was uh, about a church uh, church key beer company. Mm -hmm. uh, they're adding expansion to Nevada and Arizona, which affects me. <clears throat> and uh, uh, they're an old school. Well, they're one of those new breweries that's going old school, right? They've yep. got they're doing the old. Uh, church key when I happen to have my snake bite right here, which is a church key type bottle opener. If you don't yes. know what that is, traditionally they they just come to the point, you know, and they're just pointed up here straight, you know, just one big mm -hmm. point. This one happens to have two on the end, and you crack the can open. And <clears throat> back in the day, you used to have these cans of beer. And they didn't have a pull tab or anything. You had to actually take your church key to it and open the beer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and part of that experience was the spray back, right? You, you'd open a can of beer and it, it would just like <laughs> all over mm -hmm. the place. Yep. And that was that was part of that whole thing, and that's yeah, yeah. that's part of my whole smoke thing too. Is, uh, oh, yeah. uh, is so I can't wait to get my hands on one because I actually want to review it and and do the whole, especially yeah, with yeah. snake bite. The snake bite probably really makes it all yeah, over the place, you know. So what I thought was really interesting about uh, Church Key Beer Company. Uh, it's not brewing. I'm tempted to say brewing, but it's a uh, beer company. Is um, they they they're going old school. A lot of things are 
kind of going old, right? You know, what's what's old is new again, right? And mm -hmm. uh, so you see it in car makers, right? A lot of them are making uh, vintage looking ish type stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it, you know, and, and that's kind of the exciting thing, right? What's old is new again. Some of the, we're into photography, me and Mark, some of the camera makers are making uh, vintage looking cameras, but, you know, of mm -hmm. course they're brand new and they have all the latest stuff. And so why not beer, right? Mm -hmm. Why not beer? I mean, I think what is more cool than that than the old church key style can? Now, I'm excited about this, Joe, because they are distributed in Portland. And I'm going to be in Portland oh, in that's a couple right. of weeks. So I'm just looking on their website now, and it looks like, yeah, I should be set. I think if I go to Portland and want some beer and a flat top can, I think I am good. And they pretty, it, it, I think they they don't have too many beers, if I remember right. I'm not looking no, at their website just like, yet. I'm trying to pull it up. Let's actually. see. It's worth the effort. Discover. Let's go to the homepage. Follow us on Facebook. Discover our mission. Oh, yeah. And he's got. You were talking about the blowback. Yeah. The picture they have on their site is the guy going into the beer and the and the beer coming out through the opening stuff. So, yeah. I mean, it's it's definite old school. Yeah, churchkey.com. Churchkey.com. Oh, yeah. wow. They were lucky to get that, weren't they? Yeah, they were, actually. You would think some beer geek somewhere would have. Or just anybody, that. right? I mean, there's a lot of people in the church keys. I mean, you mm -hmm. would think that. Mm -hmm. But that tells you, like, how far from the church key we have gone, right? Yeah, like, it what... is. That is. That is true. I mean, yeah, that is exactly true because the history our brewers. I think that's the only beer they make is a Pilsner. Flat Just the, Pilsner stuff. Yeah, I was wondering. Yeah. I, I'm like, I, I don't think they have too many beers. I think that is, yeah, I think that was it. Actually, I don't really see much on there. No. But I'm looking at, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Uh, whoops, 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 whoops. That's, I, I got off of there. Uh, okay, where's the, uh, geez, where did, where did my, there it is. I guess I got a lot of windows open. Uh, let me see. I don't see a bum in the chat. Am I am I missing bum somehow? Did, did uh, uh, I don't know. You invited him probably, right? Yeah, I've <clears throat> I invited the uh, the normal crew. The normal crew, yeah. Uh, I don't see anything. Let me. No, it. I think everybody's just taking a night off. But uh, yeah, see now there was this. This is the story I posted right here. Mm -hmm. Uh, from beerpulse.com. Um, it, it, actually, they gave more information about the beer than I think I've seen on the website because this is all I'm seeing on their website, really, which ain't much. Yeah, uh, they've got that, and they've got the... It looks like they they're, they don't have a brewery or... Well, they have a brewery, obviously, but they don't have, like, a tasting room. But they've just got a map of distributors. If that's their case of beer, I love it. I love yeah. it, right? Because, it, you know, you've got the – and then see, this is a great picture, too, because that's the experience of opening mm -hmm. a beer it is. with the that's church. Exactly. I mean, one of the first beers I ever had is like eight or nine years old was that. You know, it was like an Iron City, but you had to open it up with a, uh, with a church key. Now, of course, I never opened one like that, but I do remember my old man doing that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, it was – you were always with that experience where you were wiping your hand off. <laughs> yep, exactly. You open the beer, and you're like, ah, wipe off your – like this guy. He's like thumb and forefinger soaked in beer. You, you wipe it off, or you just stick it in your mouth and lick off the beer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, either way. Yeah, any of the tasty exactly. Beer. But uh, that – and I, I imagine since they're specializing in the Pilsner for right now, mm -hmm. that th that beer's got to be pretty tasty. I'm looking forward to finding that here in my area. Yeah. But here's all the places in the um, yeah, Pacific like Northwest, Northwest where you can get it. Uh, and Portland's definitely going to be on that. Yeah, one. I'm gonna. I mean, I've I've been going through and kind of like putting, um, you know, doing the Google Maps thing, finding places that I want to go to, and putting you know, stars, so it'll show up on my phone. 
And, uh, I've got all the brew pubs around near where the hotel is. I've got a couple photography shops where I can go buy film if I need more film. Uh, restaurants. Now, I, I don't down. know. I don't know, Mark, what kind of um, uh, drought they're having or any sort of thing like that. But if you could see my mouse right here is the best drive in America, as far as I'm concerned. This this whole drive, there's a river, a, a river, mm -hmm. a river. There's a river that separates uh, Washington State from from Oregon, mm -hmm. and it is just gorgeous to drive along that river right there. What, what, what is that? I ninety four or something? I ninety. Uh, let me see. I'm or, is, or is it I eighty four? Is it eighty four? No, I'm in. Um... But in any case, it, it, it that is one beautiful drive. I think they call it yeah. from from it's the, the Dolls. It's the Columbia River. Columbia River. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, the dolls or dolls or whatever. Yeah, from the yeah. dolls uh, all the way back to, um, to the ocean. Portland is just really nice. Yeah, we're gonna be there for a few days. Pam has got a uh, like a work conference, so she's gonna be like actually working, and I'm gonna be wandering around taking photos, drinking beer, <laughs> enjoying it. <laughs> it I, I've got like three days where she conference and I'm just going to be out exploring Portland with my camera and my uh, sippy cup full of beer. <laughs> and there's nothing worse than being in a, I mean, it's like being in classroom all day, right? It just no, sucks. No, I, mean, it, you know, I mean, yeah. But we'll, we'll go out and do stuff and dinner and then we're going to have a few days where she's done and we're going to go and stay on the coast for a few days and um, oh. kind of hang out for a while. So it'll be fun. Yeah, yeah. But the, the cool thing is, is her company's paying for the hotel for a few nights and I'm just going to like I guess I have to sleep on the floor because I'm not really an employee, but oh. you know I get to hang out at the room for like four nights. Yeah. So it's I yeah. So I mean, it's a it's a good way to get out. You know I haven't been to Portland since I was I don't know if I've ever been to Portland. I don't think so. So it'll be it'll be a cool way to explore the town and. It, it's it's that is one of the places I want to go. I, I definitely. Oh, okay. He says he's here. He's just oh, okay. uh, just about to open a long trail, uh, 2014. Oh, okay. Imperial Stout. Yeah, one of the one of the one of the places I've starred, Joe, begins with a uh, a D. It's called the Shoots Brewery. Oh. Oh, their public house, like their tasting room. Yeah. That's that's like right across the the river from where I'm staying. So it's like a half mile walk. Is it really? I'll be going there. Oh yeah, and then the oh. Rogue Brewery, the Rogue Tasting Room is right around there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be, you're gonna be hating it's gonna life. Suck. Yeah, that's gonna. It. I would love to go there eventually because just of all the different uh, stuff they have there that that you can't get unless you go there. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they 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 just put it on tap and that's it. So if I show up at the the uh, the Shoots Brewery Portland Public House and I say Joe D told me to to mention his name, will they kick me out or will they give me discounts? I, I think I think every beer is paid for. I think I okay, think I, I think, think so. Joe D said put I, it on his tab. I think I think your money is no good there. Okay. <laughs> now what whatever that means, like I don't know if that means like every beer is free or no. Your money's no good here. Get out. <laughs> yeah. Like some guy named Ruben that's like six eight and four hundred pounds is gonna throw me out. Yeah. Yeah. Like like you know people you know like you know Greek money is worth more than yours right now. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna find out. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna save uh, the the video from YouTube of you reviewing the shoots beer, and I'm gonna say, uh -huh. see, this is my buddy Joe. He that's it, yeah. See, either you get me tossed in the alley, or I'll I'll get the king's uh, tour. I think I would go with some really good bicycle shorts that at least have some padding back there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, take them. so yeah, when they toss you out, at least it won't hurt as much. <laughs> But it would be worth a shot. It, it it is kind of fun. Every once in a blue moon, I'll run into a bartender or something that uh, has seen me. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And, and uh, they're like, "Holy crap, you're Jody!" You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the. Yeah, yeah. I ran into somebody a few months ago. It says I watched your videos. And I'm like, not in the last year. And he's like, Yeah, you're right. It was a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what happened to your videos? And I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm just. 
he who shall not be named. Yeah, I, I, uh, um, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what what you get up there, uh, because Portland and that whole area up there is is really good for craft beer. I want, uh, I want a barrel aged abyss, is what I want. I need to put that church key on my list for sure. I really yeah. do, honestly, because I do want I'm gonna, to. I'm gonna... Uh, walk by one of the liquor stores around there, and they, who knows, they might have it on tap there too. I'm but putting... That would kind of defeat the whole purpose. I want the can, so I'll just buy like a six pack, put it in the uh, hotel fridge. And, uh... I, I have a beer list going on my phone here, and so oh, okay. I, uh, I'm gonna put church key on there because yeah. I want to. Uh... It's actually how far is that? It's about a thousand feet. Eh, it's about a quarter mile away from the Pro Photo Supply Photo Lab, so I can have a couple beers at the shoots. Oh. Walk over and buy some film at the Pro Photo Supply. Oh, I'm set. My, I've got my my days are planned. I'm ready to go. <laughs> that is there's there is there, there's just so much cool stuff happening. It just seems like a cool place. It really yeah. does. Um, I'm really interested in. It. I've I've heard lots of good things about Portland, uh, there, both from a beer and a photography standpoint. There's right. just a lot of really cool photography. There's like the the Japanese Garden, which is world renowned for, um, you know, for the Japanese Garden. How good right. it is! So I think it's going to be great for photography. Well, and then there's that there's that drive that I like to do, and then I I know that things have changed in the back country over there, headed towards Bend. Mm -hmm. uh, in the almost 20 years since I've done it. But mm -hmm. uh, w when I've uh, talked to people online about it, they still say it, it is a nice drive. It's just that Bend has changed night and day from when I last time I have ever been there. But uh, yeah, it's probably grown a lot. Yeah. 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 No, I'm looking forward to it. That's, that's a cool part of the country. We haven't been, uh, we were up in Seattle like, 13 years ago and really enjoyed that. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, it, it should be. Now these, these packs that they're putting, I'm hoping that more, uh, now that we are canning, all that it takes is for, uh, one of these craft breweries just to put a different lid on it. That's mm -hmm. all it takes. That's all and it is. It's a flat lid instead of a instead of a, a pull, pull tap. Yeah. yeah. So it's um. Mm -hmm. Or what do they call that? They don't call it a because the pull top was the original like. It, it, well, the thing that took us from the church key, right? It, it was, yeah, the, was it was it, that actual pull tab. Is it a flip top? I don't know what flip. It's maybe is it? No, I think. Well, it's like you know, it's the typical can yeah, thing. It's, you know, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah. in any case, oh, yeah, all it takes us for them to put a different a different top on it, and you do get that that mm -hmm. uh, vintage experience. Um, I, you know, if they have success, I would think other. If I was a, if I had a uh, a brewery, I'd be like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna do an old school beer, and I'm gonna put a flat top on it. Why not? I mean, what if it was just a seasonal thing? Like, okay, we're going to do this for our Pilsner as well. Yeah, for the summer season. You buy right. a 12-pack, you get a free church key. That would be awesome. You know, you, you'd get a, a, a church key with, with your there. brewery yeah. label on it, and you'd, you you give it with the 12-pack. You know, I wonder I wonder if that's not what they're doing as well, because you get that pack, mm -hmm. and I can't see what's in that pack. Yeah. I'll, and I didn't read their fact. I'm gonna be the um, I'll be the cub reporter out in the field. I'll uh, I'll go out and uh, sample that. I'll buy a tall pack or a six pack and see if I get a free church key with it. Cause uh, it looks fun. It's just a fun way to drink beer. Just just another little thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Another little and you know I've been kind of all over that uh, starting since the beginning of the year here. Just kind of like. Uh, you know, I want some uniqueness to it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, there's got to be some uniqueness to to some to to beers now because we're starting to get a little long in the tooth about certain beer conversations, and mm -hmm. um, so this yeah. just this is another little small thing, but it is a thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. um, 
I think it. I think it would be cool uh, for you. You know who could really do this, Mark, is some of those um, uh, overseas beers. Some of the beers from across the pond. Uh, mm-hmm. they, they certainly have a long church key history. I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah. Perhaps not though, right? Because I think a lot of them have been just bottling forever. Like they never even canned. <sighs> I don't know. I would think some of them had probably gone through the canning back in the. Because canning didn't used to be what it, what it is today. Like it, you know, you didn't have all the, uh, uh, what do you call that? The, uh, you know, the layering inside the can. You know, all the, mm-hmm. all the uh, well, they oh, basically yeah, the, put the plastics, liner, yeah. or liners, liners. There mm-hmm. you go. They basically put plastics or something inside there, don't they? Mm-hmm. What, what are they? What? It's like a. Um, it's not a plastic. It is a, and I have a I have a buddy who works for a, a canning not a canning company, but they they do they're the ones that put the lining on the inside of the metal that they sell to the canning companies. Oh. And he was talking about it that the big thing has been to use uh, like soy based or you know something that's basically all natural, not plastic. Okay. Some kind of okay. created out of corn or soybeans or something. Some kind of liner that they, they put inside the cans. And uh, yeah, but that's what's changed a lot in the last um, ten a years. A lot. So yeah. Yeah, probably even a little longer. But yeah, no, that's that's what you know. That's what's really changed. That's what's mm-hmm. changed the game as far as canning, because yeah. you used to really distinctly be able to tell. Uh, the difference between a canned beer and a bottled beer. I mean, there was a definite difference, you mm-hmm. know. Yeah. And 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 it was back in those days. A bum put here that, uh, uh, yeah, of course. And I think we've had that conversation. Yeah. Uh, with the cone top. Hey, Greg, how you doing, brother? Good evening, gentlemen. How are hey, you? Hey, Greg, how's it going? Good. I, I just got the end bike. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yes, yeah, so evidently the the Google thing is running just a little slow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's only Google. been an hour, you know. Yeah. It's uh, only been an hour, yeah. yeah about you know? 50 minutes, yeah, probably so, somewhere in that area. And I hadn't been on in a while, and I noticed Dave had been joining you on your last couple. Uh, yeah, he's so, been on pretty regular the last month or so, which is cool because yeah. he was gone for – Six or eight months. We hadn't seen Dave in quite a while. So hey, you know cool what? Deal. You know what? As a matter of fact, now that you mentioned Dave, man, cheers to Dave. I hope that his uh uh um what what do you call it? Uh, but he it wasn't chicken pox. It's uh oh um oh shingles. Uh, shingles. Yeah. I oh, hope man. that his shingles, man. Didn't uh, I don't know if you've seen him, Greg, but his eye he had it on his face, man. Oh, and they man. were worried that it might be behind his eye. Oh. And if it's behind his eye, he could lose his eye. That's horrible. And I didn't so, know that. Yeah, that's cheers, you know, and that's cheers caused to him, by yeah. Yeah. I mean that's uh, that's part yeah. of chicken yeah. pox. That's that's so, one of those yeah. things. I uh I had chicken pox when I was thirty four. So I'm like Oh, Last time I went to the doctor, I'm like, when can I get this vaccine? <laughs> you know, whatever it costs, I'm taking it because I guess, you know, the later you That's have it, That's an expensive vaccine. It's like 300 bucks, and it's not covered yeah. by insurance. And uh-huh. it's really it's really hard on an older person. I'm not saying you're old, Mark, but, I mean, it's a lot easier to take that vaccine when you're a child as opposed yeah. to being a grown man because uh, I had chicken pox when I was three, and it caused me to go deaf in my left ear. Oh, well, okay. I I had it and I, when was I? Yeah, 32, 33, and I, and I had it bad, but I didn't get into my eyes and my throat. But I was out of work for a week. I mean, I I just I just basically sat in the bathtub with oatmeal yeah. water and tried to get rid of the so, yeah. itching. So evidently, I had it go down in my ear when I was three, and it caused tissue damage in my oh. ear canal, and I've been deaf in my left ear ever since I was wow. three. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, you know, it's a it's it shingles is very very serious, especially as an adult, and it's mm-hmm. insanely painful as it is. But to have it on your face, I would think is rare. And and yeah. uh, for him, they were worried that it'd be behind his eye, and just the fact that he's not even here. Uh, yeah, and I hope he's doing well. Cause, yeah, yeah, not a good sign. I hope he does well too. 
Yeah. So. Because I I hate to see anybody uh you know lose their eye, man. I mean that's. Yeah. 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 It's. Uh, it's tragic. It's probably one of those. My uh my father-in-law got it when he was seventy-six, and he had chicken pox when he was like six. You know, so seventy-two years later, shingles is like, hey, here I am. Yeah, yeah, that's the yeah, thing about it. I mean, once it's, once you've had chicken pox, it's, it it's never there. knows when it's going to show its ugly head again. It just lays dormant in your system, and something triggers it. And, and, and well, and then you you seen Mark because <clears throat> in the, the week before nothing. Yeah. And then just all of a sudden, boom. Yeah. I mean, it it, it yeah. comes back, and your world changes, man. So yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Cheers to cheers to him, man. I hope I hope that we yeah, get some good news. You know, and and he, you know, if if anything, Dave, you know, just remember the little guys when it comes to the to the challenger. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you can't use the challenger anymore, you know, there, there's always someone in Phoenix can use it. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, or Atlanta. Atlanta's closer than Phoenix. <laughs> Come on. Well, I'm a, I'm in Virginia, so I'm more closer actually, than Atlanta. I think, I think actually, he is. Have have a page. <laughs> Me and Greg and Jared are gonna have to have a cage match. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna be the yeah. loser. I'm gonna be the first. I'll, out I'll, of ride that. This, I'll ride the scooter up there and just put it on a U-Haul trailer and bring it back behind the child. Yeah, <laughs> uh, hey, he got a pretty badass Challenger recently. Oh so. man, it's a sweet car. I saw one of those at the car show last. It was at last, two weeks ago now, almost two weeks. And man, those are. They've got they've got a new one out that's like 500 horsepower now. Oh. I've seen that. Seen that with the shaker with the shaker hood basically. Uh -huh. I mean, it's oh, yeah, it's like good looking car. Old. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. They've got that Hellcat, Mark. That Hellcat. Yeah, Hellcat. Seven hundred and fifty horsepower at the seven. It's seven hundred plus horsepower, oh man. Well, that, we had that Hellcat. A, um, now, this might maybe district judges get paid too much, but we had a Fulton County, which is Atlanta, Fulton County district judge got carjacked. Somebody carjacked their Hellcat. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. So they lost their car and they recovered it, but it was wrecked or something. Uh, but yeah, a Hellcat. I'm like, oh, well, that sounds like a Charger, but 700 horsepower. Yeah. They oh. when they when they Those judges get paid too much because that's got to be a fifty thousand dollar car. Yeah. Oh, north or more, that, or north more. Of yeah, that. yeah. North of I'll that. I'll probably add twenty twenty to that probably. Oh, yeah. Man. Now, I was yeah, looking I mean, if you're going, you're going to drive a car like that, or a Corvette, or a Ferrari, or a Lamborghini, you better be carrying your own piece with you. Yeah, or have a bodyguard next to you, <laughs> or at least following you behind you so they can shoot him. Yeah, I, I was I was looking at those new vets yesterday uh, when I was at the Chevy dealer. Oh, yeah. Uh, you're going to go from a pickup to a vet? No, <laughs> dude, I was looking at the POS vet. Right, we're talking. It, there was nothing fancy about it, you know, and it was still seventy-seven grand, my friend. Yeah. No, that's not my kind of ride. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to share the screen. This is. What, I always wanted a Z06. The haircut. The haircut. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Hundred hundred grand car. Yeah. Seven hundred and seven horsepower. End yep. of discussion. Fifty nine yes. nine ninety five. Yes. And that's that's yeah that, that doesn't include the tires. You know? <laughs> Man. Imagine what the insurance would, on that thing would be. No. Uh, if yeah. you got to ask, that's that it whole says thing the right It's the fastest there. muscle car ever. 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 10.8 second quarter mile. Ever. That's, that's ever. pretty fast. It, it, that's a badass car there. It's ba Yeah, it's... it's What's it, is it... Is it um, are they turbo or do they... Uh, no, I it's, think it was. It's, I it's think it's super probably charged. supercharged. Yeah, yeah. Supercharged. like but my motorcycle. Hemi, it's a six six point two liter Hemi. Uh, it's probably got to be supercharged. Yeah, yeah maybe dual. It might be dual supercharged. It might have two of them. Yeah, on. one for each. One for each bank. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's yeah. It's a that would be a sweet car. Yeah. Uh, yeah there was a, a guy posted on uh, one of the Harley uh, sites on Facebook. That he had uh, evidently had some kind of massive Harley motor, built Harley motor with a supercharger on it, and it, it was pushing over 300 horsepower. Jesus. And it would stand, and it would stand up on the back wheel at wheel just by twisting the throttle. It would stand up. That's nice. 300 horsepower for what? An 800 pound bike, maybe? 
Yeah, I'd, between eight and nine hundred pounds. Yeah, it wasn't a full dresser uh, like mine with the tour pack and all that stuff on it. But yeah, it was a big bike, and it, wow. I mean, and they showed the video, and it, and he did like three or four wheel stands. The guy was filming him out the back of the car, and and he wasn't popping the clutch or anything. He was just twisting the grip, and he would stand up. He twist the grip, and it would stand up. Jesus. And that's going down the road thirty, forty, fifty miles an hour, and it would just stand up. Uh, looks yeah, like the Hellcat is one supercharger, one twin screw supercharger. Yeah, That's man, a it's a big supercharger. There, well, it's a yeah. big motor in there. I mean, it's a huge yeah. motor. Six point three liter. Yeah, and then they supercharge it, and then and then with all the technology that they do to these these oh, yeah. engines yeah. now, yeah. I mean, exactly like compression and everything. Probably got a call for each cylinder and all that kind of stuff, yeah. like the Z twenty eights have. Forge crankshaft. You would have to have that if you're producing that kind of horsepower. Otherwise, oh. it's going to blow the bottom out of it. And, and the thing of it is, is, is that's like a Hemi, right? So they they can Hellcat a lot of stuff. Like they Hellcat the Challenger, they Hellcat the Charger, mm -hmm. and they're they're like going to come out with a Hell. I think they're talking about maybe a Hellcat version of their Dart. Is that? Oh, that, that would be. That's like. Same engine and a little bit smaller, but oh, that thing! Oh, like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute! I think ass. I think they were talking. What's that fast Jeep that they have? The 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 uh, the Grand Cherokee. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I don't they have? I think they're gonna Hellcat a version of that Cherokee, maybe. Seven hundred horsepower. And it probably still gets great gas mileage with that much horsepower. It probably still gets fifteen to twenty miles per yeah, gallon. I, I, think I, think I think it does get fifteen. I think it does get fifteen. Track speed one ninety nine. Oh come on! Give it seven hundred and nine and get the two hundred horse. <laughs> One ninety nine. The, the shame of, of those vehicles is they they govern them back to I think a hundred and eighty. Like you you're not going to go two hundred miles an hour in that thing unless you take that govern off. But zero uh, to sixty low. Three that'd seconds. be the first thing that I would do. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to go. Seven where are you going to drive that fast? Unless you live in Montana where there's no yeah, speed limit. 700 horsepower, 650 torque. Oh, man. One can dream. That would be a that would be a fun car to drive. Yeah. I, I can just imagine because my bike uh, is a uh, 07 uh, Screaming Eagle Ultra, which was mm -hmm. their top of the line. And it, it stock, it, it had like 79 puny horsepower and now it's pushing 160 and I, and I can tell the difference and, and mine will stand up on the back tire too but oh, yeah. not by just twisting the throttle like that one was and, and I, I can just imagine what 700 horsepower feels like oh, yeah really the torque the torque that would come from that from that uh, that car would be insane man it just it'd yeah. be a blast you know it'd be a blast it would and that's not a bad price for that much horsepower either. Sixty grand. I mean, yeah. I mean, I really. I mean, what does the Z01 Corvette? Is that the top of the line Corvette now? Z01. Z06. Yeah, Z06. 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 Yeah. Six fifty, six seventy five. I mean, it's I say the Z06 is going to be a hundred grand. Yeah. I'd rather have this than the Z06. Greg, I seen a convertible one over there, man. They had. So you can put the kit to the back of this one. They had. They had all the different. Model Corvettes, just one after another, man. <laughs> and then they had them in hardtop and convertible. They had them all laid out, man. It was well, and you know, I want people are buying those cars are either rich executives or or older people that are retired, going through midlife crisis situations. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Grandpa's got a a two seater Corvette now, so you know. Mm -hmm. I ain't hating, man. If I could get one of them damn vets, I swear to God, I would. <laughs> well, you probably have to be a 50 or a 60 year or 70 year old man to be able to to get the <laughs> insurance go. rate down where you could afford it, because uh, you know the insurance rate on that would probably be. Five, six, eight hundred dollars a month just go. for the damn insurance. The 2015 Z06, 79,000 starting price, 650 horsepower. Yeah, that and it's it's. it's later, yeah. That's an awesome car, though. You got that. The, the Z06 is going to outhandle that Charger, oh, but fire, yeah, fire, in a straight, in yeah, a straight line, though, need. that Charger is probably going to get him. Yeah, but on a road, on a road, on, on a road, 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 Z06 is going to tear his butt up. Yep. Yeah, well, the Z06 is a beast, man. I, it, oh yeah. Now, now, Mark, that's that's around a three second sixty, isn't it? Probably, yeah. I would think so too. Yeah. yeah I think I that's think so. I think that Z06 is around it. I don't even know if you can keep the tires on the ground. I know that Hellcat, you're not. 
That, like no. the tire, like you're they not claim gonna... a three, They claim a low three on the Hellcat for sixty, zero to sixty. Yeah, yeah I would think the Z06 is probably a three seven or eight somewhere in that area. Yeah, probably in that range. Yeah. That's yeah. laying you. That's laying you back in the seat. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Yeah, it's like. You're reaching for the wheel. You better have a tight grip on that wheel because you're going to be reaching for it. And the big thing was when I was growing up and you had a muscle car or something fast, you'd put a $20 bill on the dash and say, reach for that reach for that 20 and then you'd stomp it and, and they'd be doing one of these numbers trying to grab it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It these is. are those cars would be awesome. I would, I would rather drive probably, I don't know. I mean, I like handling, but... I would probably rather drive the Hellcat. I would get like gray. I wouldn't get bright red. I'd get like a lot a a, a a a lighter colored gray, so it wouldn't be too obvious. Oh, I have to have mine fire engine freaking red. Yeah, yeah. Dude, they, get your wallet ready because they had this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they get more red cars are pulled over for speeding than any other car. Yeah, that's, that's they they had point. that they had that special edition uh, Camaro over there, man. That I mean that I think it's a special uh, Z28 or something like mm -hmm. that. It was it was all black, just badass, man. I mean, oh, that's my two. I mean, oh. black or red. That's my truck. My truck is. Is black and my wife's truck is red. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's my two favorite colors for a vehicle. Okay, so the Hellcat uh, SRT 690922 a month. Hey, so let's what is see. You could either have a mortgage or live in your car. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's basically the choice. I, I could live in that car. Yeah. Man. That's what that's what that's what the 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 salesman over there was telling me. He says, if you want one of these vets, you can live in it, man. It ain't. It, it's not hard. You know, I'm like, eh, it's a little tight. At, you gotta look at your good side, though. If you have either one of those cars, you're not gonna be living in it by yourself, because yeah, there's gonna be yeah. some hot chick that's gonna wanna gonna <laughs> sleep right beside your ass. Dude, <sighs> the 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 design of that vet just gets me, man. I see yeah. them out there on on uh, on the open road, man, and I just, I mean, they they just get your attention, man. Oh no, they're very nice cars. Yeah, they are just a beautiful design. I love the design of that that vet. I mean, it it looks supercarish when you see it. You know, because I'll see some supercars too. There's you know, there's there's a lot of them people between here and LA. That's for sure. And uh, so you'll you'll see the Ferraris and stuff like that. And that vet gets my attention, man. It does. Yeah. We were going to the we were going to Myrtle Beach. Uh, it's been about three or four years ago, and. Uh, we had a car come up on the back of us, two or three of us uh, riding motorcycles, and we had a car come up on us like it was a fire truck, you know, it was, whoa, and we was like, what is that, and was, we were talking back and forth on the headsets, I don't know, then it was a straight stretch, it was a Lamborghini, he sucked the paint off our motorcycles when he came past <laughs> us, you know? oh, I mean, he was like, when he was gone, I mean, it was, in five seconds, he was out of sight. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a lot of it, it man. Yeah, it's yeah. It, I, you know doing what uh, what our what our pal Pat does uh, for a living is just I I envy that guy, man. I mean, yeah. to, be to be able to to be able to be around uh, some of the hottest cars in the world uh, constantly is, is that's a mm -hmm. you know uh, what a life, yeah. right? Well, yeah. Okay, so if Sounds I was going to buy the Z06, I would get it in uh, what is this? Black sil blade silver metallic, and it would only be like eighty-seven six fifty. See? Oh, Boom. Oh, only. Only. Boom. Yeah. Only. Well, that's about what uh, nine. That's about eleven hundred dollars a month. Yeah. And the problem is, there's no back seat in that thing. You know, you can't sleep yeah. in the back. Oh, at least in the challenge. At least in the Challenger, one could sleep in the back seat, and the other one could drive. Yes, that's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> They're still not, you know. I was because I was looking at the Camaro, and there, there, there's technically a back seat back there, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't think nobody well, you care about wants to be talk. back there. You'd have to pull a trailer behind, one of those little pop-up trailers behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, in my car, and I live right in my trailer, right behind my car. <laughs> Yeah, that oh. it, that was that was fun, man. They had so many. It was a big dealership, and they had a lot of vehicles inside, you know, uh, which makes a lot of sense because it was about 110 degrees outside. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but that was a lot of fun uh, looking at all those vehicles and just mouth water, you know, just oh, yeah. 
just just dreaming, you know. Just and then they had this one color. Uh, it was a bluish kind of pearlish looking color, and it looked like a mirror. I mean, it was it was a trip. That would be the uh, let me see. That would be the Laguna Blue tent coat. Extra cost a thousand bucks. So you got to pay an extra grand to get that color on your. Is it really? So that was a factory color. I didn't have a chance to talk to him about it. Yeah, it's this one right here. Is that what you're looking at? Maybe. It's that not one? coming up yet. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah. that's gorgeous. Yeah. Only that's a, a beautiful car. You're gonna pay eighty-seven for the car and might as well pay an extra grand for the paint. Come on. It was a it, that yeah, color. It was amazing. Yeah, it, it's it was. Probably, yeah, just, Totally reflects. Hey, Mark, what what do they say is the is the fuel mileage? Because I think that vet gets twenty. Learn about performance. Uh, does that really? Let's see. I bet it does. I think uh, that I think that's the remarkable thing about that vet is that it still gets twenty miles per ga- uh, per gallon. Probably does on the road. I would bet. Because they've really got a way. Talk, of... They don't. They don't really talk about fuel mileage for this car, but I'm sure it's probably no, pretty good. Yeah, they don't want you to know that. <laughs> no, they, 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 with the Corvette, they actually do talk about fuel mileage, because that, that, that is the big that is the big thing with it, to get so much horsepower and, and, and good fuel still mileage. still get that kind of... Yeah, it's, yeah. it's probably got a 7 or 8 gear transmission, automatic that's transmission. An it's an it's an it's an that's how they can get that. I mean, they're... Fiber, uh, and then they have a way of shutting down cylinders, too, when they're not necessary. Yeah, well, the Harleys do that now, too. Yeah. But not while they're running. That's just while they're over, you know, stop light, stop mm-hmm. light, they'll shut down one of the cylinders. But Oh, it's, it's asking me to request a quote. No, it's okay. Yeah. Oh, come on, I'll get you one. Yeah, I'm taking my, uh, my, my diesel... Station wagon into the dealership on Saturday, <laughs> and, the, and they own a Chevy dealer right across the road. Maybe I can yeah, I mean, you work out a deal. How yeah. much would you I'll give me on a trade? Up trade. A straight up trade. Z06 for my 2011 Jetta wagon. Straight I up. Think you, I think you could lower that payment to 800 a month, Mark. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I can get divorced right before my anniversary. That would be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you do it. You buy it and give it to your wife for a present, and you she can't make you take it back because it's you know it's hers. And I, hey, yeah. I bought it for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see you've tried that before, huh, Greg? Slap, Fuel slap, 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 slap. All right. <laughs> City. Here we go. The uh, coupe, 15 miles per gallon city, 22 highway. Yeah, that's see, 22 a, highway, man. That's see? Yeah, and eighth gear, <laughs> running yeah. about 40 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, eighth gear, going 40, at, pulling about 800 RPMs probably. Yeah, eight. really. It's, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's a fun car. Uh, they're well, gorgeous, they're, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Hey, before we go, uh, Greg, I'd like to get your opinion on that. Did you hear us talking about that Church Key Beer Company? That you know, with the idea being uh, the the old school flat top can that you had to open with the Church Key. There's a beer company that's going vintage like that. And, oh, and, really? And that's their name is Church Key Beer Company. It doesn't have a pop top on it. Nope. You have to. You have to physically. And I have my snake bite here. And they sent have, me one of those. Did they? What, yeah, what, I've got I've got one in in, in there. So it's, it works good on a can, but it's not too good on the bottle. On the, well, it, I mean, it worked okay for the for the bottle for me. It's just well, I tried. But, to, I did a, a beer review the other day, and I went ahead and got that out, and then you know, told them about the company and all that, and how much it costs with free shipping, and comes in a little keychain leather holder, and I had the bottle there, and it took me about four tries before I could get it to open the bottle oh, really? up. I'm, and I'm going, oh damn, man, this is not looking good. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it's the the one that they sent you is a little because mine works great, but in any case, it uh, I mean it, you you have to physically you know open it with the church key, you know to uh you know to get the beer open and and really all that a that a a brewery would have to do is just instead of the pool tab, put a flat top and they could have a vintage style ish beer, you know. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know how to about church key beers. So when you when you when you open the church key beer, and and I love the picture that they have on their website because you'd get the spray back on your finger. Mm-hmm. So it was, anytime you opened a beer, it was always wipe your hand off on your shirt or on your pants or something, you know. Yeah. 
Um, well, the old church keys had the the single point, right? And it, and it, and it created a bigger hole to yeah. you know to drink it out of. Where the snake bite has the two little holes in yeah. there, and it works good on the back side. Yeah, yeah like Mark's that. One, yeah. It works good on the back side to relieve the pressure if you want to chug it fast or yeah. you know to get that air and stuff in there. But a lot of the the younger craft beer, you say church key, they don't have a clue what you're talking mm -hmm. about. Yeah, that is yeah. Just, that's that's Greek to them. Work for our key. beer back in the day. But yeah, I, I remember that. I'm old enough to remember that. I, I, I like the vintage look of even the six-pack of beer that they have. I, I don't know for sure if they're given a church key in every six-pack or every pack of beer, but that would be a good idea. But, yeah, that's a good uh, gimmick. That's a, that's a, that's a good yeah. thing. But they only make one beer as far as me and Mark could tell. And, yeah, it's uh, like just like an old-school style Pilsner. Yeah. Which which is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. So it may, it back may, then when you were using the church keys, all all there was was loggers. I mean, that there was, was our ales. I mean, everything was a, a macro logger. I mean, yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, it, it and canning wasn't as good as it is now. They didn't have all the the, the good liners in them and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So it yeah yeah me and Mark were discussing. You know, it's cool. A lot of things are going vintage. You know, a lot of a lot of vintage stuff is coming back. Is you know. Well, that's how things are, Jody. I mean, things that are in style. You know, twenty years. Yep. I mean, bell bottoms come back in and plaids right. come back in. I mean, it all goes mm -hmm. in a right. circle there. It does. I'm seeing you, you and you and you probably remember this. The both of you remember this. Uh, crochet. You used to see a lot of crocheted stuff in the seventies. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. And I'm seeing a lot of the girls uh, starting to wear crocheted stuff. You know what I'm yep. saying? Like it, the, the mm -hmm. crochet stuff is is coming back now. I'm, I'm seeing uh, a, a lot of like crocheted sets. So, in, 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 in any case, the point was is just like it'd be cool. It could even be a seasonal thing. Like okay, for our summer seasonal, when we can that beer limited, we're gonna have flat. You know tops where you got to use the church key to get in it. And what is cool about the church key is you made the hole specific to you. Like, mm -hmm. some people don't like a big hole. Some people like a smaller hole. and they, uh, Well, that's mm -hmm. kind of... <laughs> that can go a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I, was getting, I was getting ready to jump on that. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> yeah, that's what... <laughs> Personal choice. It's all but about freedom. It's all, you know, hey, man, you know, whatever you like, you know, some yeah, people like a big hole, back. man. Like, <laughs> no, we don't like big holes. Some people like little holes, you know, hey. Yeah, man, that's the ticket. Some people like multiple holes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Some people don't like any holes. Well, and that's a whole different story. <laughs> But yeah, no. But you know, I thought that was uh, a fresh idea. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? That that's old school, and it just it keeps the craft beer conversation interesting. It keeps you know yeah. drinking craft beer. Uh, just just another thing, right? Just yeah. another mm -hmm. thing to keep the conversation, the interest going. Yep. You know. Yeah. Uh, and 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 like Greg said, man. I, 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 <coughs> as a matter of fact, on their website, they explain to you what a church key even is. Yeah. Yeah. As I said, for the younger drinkers, they have not a clue what a church right, key yeah. is. So that I, I, you know, I know we're I've, we've spent a tremendous amount of time talking about, and hopefully they they see this and they think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question is, Jody and Mark, why is it called a church key? Oh, they had that on there too. Uh, there was some. I, I remember. Yeah, they had that on there. Why? Why is it even called? A I never. Key? I don't know why it was called yeah, a church key. I don't know. I, I always. Know you can't get in the church. You couldn't get in the church with it. So why is it called a church key? I don't know. It's because that's what the the preacher was doing behind the behind the altar. <laughs> he was giving the sermon. He's like, "All right." Well, the older cans oh, okay. had a lip okay. on the top and the back. I mean, on the bottom where you could open it. If you you, you could side. open the bottom or the top. Yeah. No. Okay. Now, now they say on their website. Okay, they say it's called a church key for several reasons. The original openers uh, used on the bottom. Uh, Used on bottles before cans existed, uh, looks similar to a large old-fashioned keys used by monks to open the church, as mm -hmm. well uh, as keep the precious beer 
uh, they brewed safe. Uh, the name was then adopted to all tool, tools used to open beer uh, with mm. the ironic twist uh, for it said that, uh, you know, used a church key opener. Oh, okay. I see. Well, the older ones that I remember when I was a kid, they had the pointed end on one end and they had the rounded flat end, just like the one Mark showed me, but it was all yeah. in one piece. Mm -hmm. You use the pointed end for the beer and you use the other one for the soda bottles. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that was, you know, I just wanted to get your opinion on it. Uh, we, we better close this show, man. We got the uh, anything on the green egg today? Just, just a no, standard no. Uh, chicken wing Tuesday. We're not, even doing real, we're not even doing true chicken wing Tuesday. We just went to the store and got some Publix chicken wings. Oh, so. man. <laughs> sold out today. Oh, yeah, man. Just busy, a busy day. And, uh, yeah. you, know. you, you can't save enough his money for that Corvette. That's right. That's right. That's right. And that $4 I saved today, I mean, that's going to go a long way. It, hey, you keep a, a little, little at a like time. $450 yeah. to do it. L little at a time, and then you invest it right, and you never know. Things yeah. can happen, you know? $4 a day. I mean, I mean, 20 years when you're my age, you'll have enough saved up for that silver Corvette. <laughs> <laughs> you're that old? No. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost 60. I'm 58. Okay. I'm not that far behind you, really. Except I have no facial hair, so it doesn't. It's kind of hard yeah. to tell. <laughs> I was born with this, so I decided to keep it. <laughs> it came out with beer. <laughs> <laughs> Great came out like that, yeah. Yeah. So, okay, uh, guys. Hey, thanks for showing hey, up. Good seeing you, Greg. Yeah. Care, man. Uh, you guys take care, man. Peace out. All right. Cheers. Bye.